We have a pretty sizable Ukrainian population in Pittsburgh, and they tell our Bryant Reed that they're staying in touch with their families back home and praying. As another Sunday passes, tensions continue to grow, and the Pittsburgh Ukrainian community maintains a close watch on the possibility of a Russian invasion. With prayers, the only thing they can offer, Father Yaroslav Koval of St. John the Baptist Ukrainian Catholic Church says childhood teachings instilled in him that prayer can go a long way. We have a very uh, old uh, proverb in Ukrainian language that uh, prayer can break the steel, you know, iron. In the church, we have uh, uh, this most powerful weapon, our prayers. So we can do a lot with prayers. Only 10 years in the United States, Father Koval has friends and family in Ukraine he talks to every day. He says they ease his concerns. They are not afraid because, first of all, they do right thing, they protect own country. As for his parishioners, the same can't be said, but believing in a higher power, they say, gives them reason to believe better days are ahead. You have to believe uh, that change is possible. Uh, so coming here, you know, praying, that's, it's, it's hope, it's, it's faith. Meanwhile, Father Koval says his home country is more united than it's been for years. We have to give credit to Russians. They, they united us, you know, in Ukraine. We were so different uh, parts, you know, different parties, you know, and uh, now we are one people. Father Koval says even though U.S. leaders believe an invasion is imminent, he's still holding out hope. And even though all he can do is wait, he's still trusting the Lord to guide them. On the South Side, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.